happy first Sunday of the month of August. We are grateful to God Almighty for this great month. Wow. We are gradually stepping to gradually go to the end of this year. And sometimes I just say, why are this month so in a haste because when did we enter january and look at we are now in august so this life we are living you know that this life is a gradual process in our life so how do you relate with god almighty because god almighty in his infinite mercy has given us his word daily for us to be equipped so that we can continue to receive his word. So that we might be obedient to his word. So that we will worship him in truth and in spirit. So that we will worship him because he is the giver of life. Today is the first Sunday of the month of August. And have you checked your life, how your life has been all this while from January to now? So believe us out there. Buckle up and serve God. Serve God with your whole heart. Open your heart to serve God. Don't allow anything to distract you from the ways God wants to push you to and put you in so adapt to this will of god in your life so that you will begin to receive the grace of god in your life i bring you the word of god from the book of isaiah isaiah will be reading from the, uh, chapter 33 from verse 1 and this verse is to help us to know how we can treasure Jesus Christ in our life and treasure the things that will not make us to go apart from the will of God. So I will be reading from verse 1. And may God bless you as you enjoy this word of god for today it says word to thee that spoilets and least treasurously and they deal not treasurously with thee when thou shalt cease to spoil thou shalt be spoiled and when thou shalt make an end to deal treasurely they shall deal treasurely with thee O oh Lord, be gracious unto us. We have waited for thee. Be thou their arm every morning, our salvation, also in the time of trouble. So this word of God is a word of God of distress and help. How do you receive help from God Almighty? That is why he said in his word that you that spoil it, will receive the punishment when you spoil things that are genuinely aligned with God's will. So, and he said in the other word, he said, they shall deal treasurely with thee. That means you will receive the punishment because you have removed yourself from the way of God and you are doing things that are not rightly in the line of God. So that is why he said, O oh Lord, be gracious unto us. We have waited for thee. That he, we have come to the understanding to know that when we wait graciously unto the Lord, he will bring us to his arm and help us and make us to know that he is the king of kings. 
And our, our salvation is also in the time of trouble. That is, when your salvation, you feel that your Christian life is in trouble, you don't know how to go about it. What do you do? You have to help yourself through the Bible. And the Bible said in verse 4, And your spoil shall be gathered like the gathering of the caterpillar, as the running to and fro of locusts shall he run upon them. The Lord is exalted for the for he dwelleth on high. He had filled Zion with judgment and righteousness. So God has filled you with his judgment and his righteousness. So what you have to do as a believer is, it, is to retrieve, retrieve your steps and know that you are under God's judgment. And when you want to gain this righteousness, you have to be filled with the Holy Spirit. You have to be filled with the anointing. You have to be filled with the power of God's fire. And 6 says, And wisdom and knowledge shall be the stability of thy times and strength of salvation. The fear of the Lord is his treasure. You see, that is what God's treasure. When we have fear in him, when you have fear in God, then God will give you that wisdom and knowledge that will stabilize you, that will put you into stability, that will make you stand firm, and you will receive the blessings that you have been waiting for. And several said, Behold, they have Villiant ones shall cry without the ambassadors of peace shall weep bitterly. The highways lie waste, the way faring man sees it. He had broken the covenant, he had despised the cities, he regarded no man. The earth mourned and languished Lebanon is ashamed and hewn down. Sharon is like a wilderness and Bashan and Come and shake off their fruits. Now will I rise, said the Lord. Now will I be exalted. Now will I lift up myself. Ye shall conceive shaft. Ye shall bring forth stubble. Your breath as fire shall devour you. And the people shall be as the burnings of lime. As tongues cut up shall they be born in the fire. Yea, yea, that are far off what I have done, and ye that are near, acknowledge mightiness. So, this is the times that God came upon the people of Bashan, the people of Kamashakel, and he showed them the power of his mightiness. He showed them how he can destroy things in a twinkling of an eye. So he made them to understand that he is the Lord, that they should exalt him. They should exalt him and lift him higher. Lift him higher and try to know that he is the almighty God that has given them the grace that they have today. So, People of God, this Bible verse is trying to give you an impression to know how you can be distressed and still get help through Christ the Lord. So, I will leave you here for you to go through the word more and more and get more understanding so that you will know that God's faithfulness is the highest of all and may you continue to receive wisdom and knowledge to acknowledge god's word upon your life so that your life will become every day refreshed with the fruits of the spirit so have a wonderful sunday today 
and may your week be blessed as we pray that this month will bring we bring juicy fruits of blessings into our life, into our family, into our businesses, in, from everything that we lay our hands on. In our working places, anything that we are doing on the face of the earth, God's blessing shall be upon it this week in the mighty name of Jesus. God bless you as you go out and come in. May God continue to protect you and guide you. God bless you and have a wonderful first Sunday of the month of August. God bless you. Have a wonderful day today. God bless you.